Much of my research addresses policy responses to climate change. This work includes studying how should the possibility of tipping points in the climate system affect today's value of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. More broadly, how should uncertainty about future warming, about the future damages from warming, affect the value of reducing emissions today? Climate change is going to affect everything we care about, from people themselves to, to species around us. And dealing with climate change in a cost-effective and timely fashion is one of the greatest economic and environmental challenges of the coming century. And more recently, I've been thinking about how to incentivize negative emission technologies. So these are technologies that can actually pull carbon back out of the atmosphere, in a sense, undoing climate change and making it go backwards. Much of my current research looks at the interaction between financial markets and climate change. And in particular, I'm showing how financial markets are, are pricing seasonal climate risk. And I'm looking at how to design new financial instruments that can incentivize pulling carbon back out of the atmosphere, which closes a, a loophole in current policy designs that could become pretty huge later in the century. Industries that are exposed to the consequences of climate change will benefit from my work on pricing climate risk. Industries that are responsible for emitting gases that contribute to climate change will benefit from my work on designing better policies to deal with climate change. Major scientific reports suggest that we need to be withdrawing carbon on net from the atmosphere by the end of the century. Having a policy framework in place to make that happen could change the climate that future generations are living with. I'm Derek Lemoyne, Associate Professor of Economics at the Eller College of Management.